Hey guys, ever wonder what the force of a fish does to the stress on a fishing rod? Well, we're going to show you with three different types of fish. Here is our first fish, a calico bass. Let's say we catch a calico bass that weighs roughly five pounds. Let's see how this impacts the fishing rod. Here is a deformation analysis. As you can see, the red is at the tip, so it deforms a lot more at the tip than it does where the reel is. Now, what does this five pounds of force do to the fishing rod and how much does it bend? This is a depiction for after the stress is applied, it bends about this much. Next, what if we catch a 10 pound yellowtail? So a 10 pound yellowtail, what does it do to the deformation? As you can see, the red is a little bit bigger and the deformation is a little bit more as a result of putting 10 pounds of force on the tip. Now, what does a rod look like after this force? Looks like that. So, after catching a 10 pound fish, your rod will roughly look like that. Next, what if we catch a 50 pound tuna? So, tunas can get roughly 50 pounds. So, what does this do to the deformation? Here it is. As you can see, the red is a little bit bigger as well, but the deformation is significantly more. Now, here's what the fishing rod looks like after catching a 50 pound tuna. Bam! As you can see, it's significantly deformed and the load is significantly greater as a result of having a 50 pound fish on. So, if you enjoy this video and want to learn more about our engineering services, uh, please contact us at sales at gembaautomation.com. We do 3D modeling and design in addition to 2D drafting. Look forward to working with you guys. Thank you.